Hi, it's Hans at ahappierman.com. Today's topic is weight training volume ideas. Well, volume, you, you see a lot of uh, videos and I talks on, on volume for weight training and it's, I don't know, it, it, it's really not talked about well enough, if you ask me. I wish they, they wish somebody who knew more about such things would have a little more to offer. Because usually, mo a lot, a lot of the uh, video, YouTube videos and articles on weight training are are done by younger men, younger men who, uh, and, and a lot of them have like a genetic. Uh, genetically better for weight training and some of them probably are on steroids and of course then they have their fantastically muscled, muscled bodies and they talk about their programs and how much they're lifting and, and the reps and the set scheme and I just don't know about that for older aging men and truthfully, even for younger men, I think younger men sometimes go way overboard on the lifting. I know when I was a younger man, I would go overboard on the lifting, trying to follow the bodybuilding programs, trying to do set after set uh, with higher, higher reps, trying to work out days in a row, trying to do multiple uh, multiple exercises for the same body part and trying to do a lot trying to trying to go from very little rest between sets and I think that idea is not going to be that productive for, for normal guys and especially normal guys who are aging who still want to have some degree of strength, size, and uh, muscular muscles. I think you're better off with uh, less volume, something more modest that you can more easily handle. Oh man, there's like a, a Lamborghini up here. I've never seen one in the state that I'm in. I don't know this is the first time. Wow. I think it is. I wonder if it's uh now he's going too fast for me to keep see it. Nice car, nice car, wow. Even though I like the truck here. Anyway, getting back to the volume. Uh I would experiment going less if I were you. If I had to do it all over again when I was a younger man, I would do a lot less lifting and try not to get so beat up in by the lifting and try to get to the point where you don't hurt where you make the weight training you want to make like little bits of incremental progress over time and not get hurt I mean that's kind of the the key to it is to make little bits of incremental progress over time and not get hurt. This probably means you don't go up 10 pounds a workout on the bench forever, right? You go up uh, little, little by little over time. Uh, there's a cap on your strength uh, without dedicating your life to the lifting there's probably going to be a cap and the volume trying to go overboard on the volume to make up for your own limitations ah, I just don't know so you, you got to dedicate yourself to go for those high volume programs with lots of quality food lots of quality rest and a lot of luck in not getting hurt you can't be doing other things that are detrimental to the lifting, like being stressed over your work or school 
or trying uh, or doing extra extra things that expand energy like going out on the weekends meeting girls having sex drinking partying dancing uh, going for hikes in the mountains all of that stuff is kind of a no-no if you're trying to ex expand it trying to uh, trying to maximize your lifting so give that idea some thought try to get that volume low lower so anyway that's all for now